Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have seen so what exactly the DOM is when compared to the HTML document or the browser or the dev tools we have seen. So we have also seen that the whatever the DOM we are trying to see in the dev tools so is the closest approximation for the DOM. So when this DOM and the dev tools will not be equal is because of the pseudo elements. So in this video, I will try to show you how the pseudo elements affects the HTML document and how it differs from the DOM. I will try to show you. So let's do the coding here. So here I'm having in a file pseudo elements. The spelling is wrong. So <clears throat> here I'm having the HTML and in this one I'm having a body. So in this body, I'm taking H1 tag. So here I'm writing pseudo elements demo and here i am having a paragraph element so lorem ipsum or something like that i am taking so this is the code if i try to see this one in the browser let's see so this is the output and if you try to see the inspect element the dom is same as the so the dom will be same as this html document so fine so where this one differs is so when you are trying to use the pseudo elements so what exactly is the pseudo elements so before continuing i will try to explain you what exactly is the pseudo elements let's try to see the pseudo elements are nothing but it is a css keyword pseudo elements or css keyword which is used which is used to change the css for a specific part of an element okay so for a specific part of an element is a keyword provided in the css to change the specific specific part of an element so this is the example for this one and the pseudo elements examples which present are before after and also we have something like first letter okay Spelling mistake first letter and also first line and these are indicated using the so the syntax for this one will looks like this one selector double column we need to use and also here you will be using the pseudo element and here you will be having the rules key value pair so this is the example how it look like here the pseudo elements are nothing but before after first letter first line these are the things so this is the w3c representation that double column will be used for the pseudo element so if you whenever you come across the single column like this means so those are pseudo classes okay there is a differentiation between the pseudo elements and also the pseudo classes so double column if you try to see if you see is those are pseudo elements if you see single column means those are pseudo classes so enough we have learned uh, we have known what is a pseudo element let's try to implement the pseudo element you uh, the, change the html document using the pseudo element if you try to see the output here here h1 element is there right so here i want to add a star in front of the pseudo element normally what we can do here here i can add a asterisk star here so that you can able to see the output okay so but not through the html through the pseudo element i want to add it how can i add this one is i will already show you here i am having a style so this one is added through the pseudo element right so h1 element double column and we need to take the before why because i want to add the before so here we can use content and here i need to use the star that's it now if we try to see the output see we are able to see the star and now if you inspect the element in this one so this is the h1 and here you not you are not able to see the star so this is not a part of the html document so here in the dev tables whatever you are trying to see here this is not a part of the dom but here you are able to see in the dev tools and also in the browser you are able to see so this is added through the css pseudo element so that is one of the important thing you need to understand 
and also if you want to change the color for this first line means you can also change it how can i change it is paragraph first line and i can make it as color red here i need to use color that's it now if i if you see the output here so this is how you can change it so the color of this first line is red color so like this we can use it so these are all paragraphs right so that is the reason those are also getting color change now another thing what i want to do is so for this paragraph let's say that here class is equal to text i am using so here p dot text i can use it like this fine so for example let's say that i want to add some text at the end of this paragraph how can i add it is p dot text after this time i will use after and here in this after i can use content i am using here hi lila now if you see the output how the output will look like let's see if you see here i am able to see hi lila at the end of the content so here i am not able to select this one so this content is not added in the html document this one is added through the sudo element so this one is added through the sudo element that means through the css now if i want to change the color for this one means i can change it so how can i change it is here color green i can use color green now if you see the output here this has been changed to green so here if i want to increase the font size for this one means i can increase it so here i can use font size of 24 pixel let's see what will happen see only this one has been increased so like this we can use the pseudo elements to change the css and also to add the content in the html document but you need to understand that this is not a part of the dom but here we are able to see it in this one so this is what this is how the pseudo elements will behave in the dev tools and also in the browser so pseudo elements also affect, affects the html element but this is not a part of the dom so hope you understood about the pseudo elements so this is all so what we have learned now the html document what you are trying to see is not a part of the dom why because the html document will be affected when you have errors in the html document and also when the javascript modifies the dom the html document will not be same and also the browser whatever you are trying to see it in the browser is not a part of the dom but because we can use the style display none and all those things the elements will not be rendered through the render tree but these are still a part of the dom and also the things what you are trying to see in the through the dev tools is also not a part of the dom because i have shown you the example that pseudo elements are also added in the html document which are not part of the dom so these are all the different ways how the dom will be affected hope you understood about this dom concept if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you